spiritual quest to take back what was stolen from mm, you. Amen. By the demonic realm of unseen, unseen things that are gathered in my own thoughts. I started having many dreams while I was in jail. One of those dreams, I was being told one phrase over and over, and I keep it with me as a reminder to this day. That phrase is, fear knocked upon my door. Faith answered, and no one was there. It was a comfort phrase from the Holy Spirit. I know I kept digging deeper and deeper in the only real truth I could trust, the Word of God. Upon our release, I knew that I had wasted too many years missing the mark of real love, that unconditional, eternal love of God, the Father. I began to seek Jesus Christ. I repented of my sins, and that is when I started to really live. The change with my new life now given of my free will to Father God through His Son, Christ Jesus and the Holy Spirit is beyond any words I know. The true, unconditional, eternal love and faith in Christ Jesus' birth, death, life, resurrection, and ascension for my sins as I seek a personal relationship with God and His gift of the Holy Spirit. Giving me the fruits of the Holy Spirit of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control that I wish to share with everyone I can with the grace of God. I would like to thank you all for being witness to the death of the old self and the rebirth of the new self through Christ Jesus. Thank you, my brothers and sisters from Grace, LBE, and Omaha for being people of love, faith, and hope. In closing, I would like to give thanks, love, and gratitude for a clean heart, a new mind, from my Lord and Savior, Christ Jesus. For without him, none of this would be possible. May God continue to bless each and every one of you.